Wow. Woo! I felt that was so pain good. I felt wow. like crying. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson's brought to tears on The Voice, but she's not the only one crying. That was so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. You really touched my heart. It's a good season. Reba McIntyre joins the singing competition as season 23's Mega Mentor. It's her first time back since mentoring Team Blake during season one. Reba was the person that I looked to the most as I was trying to make it in country music. Look at us, we look like babies. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, who's that? During knockout round rehearsals, a special contestant tugged at Reba's heartstrings as Team Blake singer Kylie Dane wowed with a rendition of Celine Dion's All By Myself. All by myself. When Kylie came on, she was real cute, real shy, and I thought, well, she's gonna have a little bitty voice probably. Wrong. That was so good. Thank you so much. You really touched my heart. Thank you That's so much. the biggest thing is to capture somebody in the audience to where they're sobbing or laughing. Get some emotion out of them, and you did it for me. Then for Coach Kelly, the waterworks came when her newest team member, Kala Banham, rehearsed for her performance of the Goo Goo Dolls Iris. <laughs> When I first came on, I thought, wow, the emotion that she showed. I, I got chills. Kelly cried, and that's what you want from a performer. Wow. Woo! I felt that was so pain good. On that. I felt wow. Like crying. <laughs> you tell a great story when you sing. Kala surprised me most. She can make you cry um, after the first three notes. That's rare. But really, emotions are high all around as Blake Shelton set to wrap up his 12-year run as a coach on the competition series. That's yeah. it. I'm never going to beg somebody to be on my team again. I'm never going to hit this button again. It's probably going to be an emotional night that last night. I mean, my god, it's been 23 seats, 12 years. I kind of want to be the one to kick him out the door, but also I want to hug him while he's going. It's, I have mixed feelings. As for who's taking Blake's coveted red chair, that's still TBD. But we know a country crooner who would be just right for the job. I still like to be busy. I like to be around people. I like to work with people. I like to do television. I love music. So yeah, Reba likes to keep it moving and shaking. But she told ET earlier this year, it's probably not in the cards. You said that you passed on the opportunity first. Now here's, here's the thing, I'm trying to manifest something here. Uh -huh. Blake is hanging up his hat at The Voice. They're gonna need to fill that red seat. <laughs> would you be down to do it now at this point, or would you pass again? Who could fill Blake's shoes? Well, I can't see me doing that, because you know I'm a gypsy at heart. To do that for five months, it was just like, I don't think I'll ever be able to do it. But to fill Blake's chair, wow, that's gonna be tough. He did a great job and kudos to him.